Bailey Ray Pritchard and his girlfriend Abby regularly post videos of themselves on social media, taking on challenges, dares, plow. and sharing dance routines. But on the 19th of January, the couple attempted to follow a tutorial online where a flame is used to craft a wine bottle into a vase. However, the stunt went horribly wrong, setting Abby's hair and clothing alight, leaving her with third degree burns. Well, since then, AJ's been at Abby's bedside as uh, she receives hospital treatment, and he joins us now alongside his brother Curtis, who was there as this tragic event unfolded. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, God, Lovely I'm to so talk to you. Sorry, Thank boys. you for joining us today. Let's start first of all, I suppose, by saying um, I'm assuming that she's upstairs. That how is she? Uh, yeah, Abby's upstairs. Um, I just want to say, and um, both of us, the love and support that's come through over these past few days is really what keeps both of us so positive. And honestly, it's so nice to have so much positivity in a world that feels quite overwhelming at the moment. I bet it does. I mean, it's just a hideous accident. I mean, it really just goes to show how things can get out of control so quickly. What was it you were aiming to do? Um, the thing was to turn a wine bottle into a vase. Um, There's a tutorial just follow online. And unfortunately, it went horribly wrong. And I think what's, um, what's really scary is her, her clothes caught light, her hair caught light. Um, and it all happened so fast, yet felt like a lifetime of a scenario. What did you do? How did you cope? In When it happened, I think the most upsetting thing is seeing your, your loved one, somebody you love, on fire and, and being what felt like so helpless in such a moment. As soon as the fire on her body, her hair, her obviously her skin was out, we... We covered her in damp towels. We called 999. We did everything that we thought was the right thing to do and, and to get her to A&E as soon as possible. And Kurt, thankfully, Curtis was here to help and to, A, obviously, Abby was in shock. I was trying to keep Abby calm. Curtis was trying to keep me calm, get us both to the hospital. And, and I think what was really overwhelming for me, as soon as handing her over to people that I knew that were going to help, which were the, the nurses at uh, Ealing Hospital, this kind of, for me, it was just emotionally absolutely torn and being so kind of calm and collect when it was happening, trying to go through all of what was the right thing to do. But then as soon as I handed her over, I was just, I, I sat out, I remember the night so vividly, I sat outside the hospital all night knowing that she was not even going to come out that night. It was knowing that it, it had, it was very serious. Um, you so sat, out, you sat outside all night? Yeah, outside the hospital, just kind of just sat there. I didn't know what to do. I, I Kurt was like, we kind of need to go home and she's not going to be coming out. And I was just like, I just can't leave her side, even though I couldn't go into hospital because of COVID and obviously doing everything the right way for, to help everybody else. Um, just waited for her. And yeah, it ended up being, she stayed in hospital for five nights, moving from Ealing to, from the intensive care unit over to Chelsea and Westminster. Burns unit because they are the uh, number one unit in the country to help. So, so Curtis, for you, the first you were in the house, but the first time you were alerted to mm. this was you heard the fire alarm going on. So you must have come down and just seen this horror unfolding in front mm. of you. I um, I was upstairs and uh, I knew they were creating this um, video, and um, I just heard the fire alarm go off and. Um, I just came downstairs and I remember opening the door and, and there was glass on the floor and uh, the door just slightly jammed and I saw AJ there and I, and I said, is everything all right? And he said, no. And I knew straight away that something had happened. I, I didn't know what at the time. Um, so I quickly put my shoes on straight away. I came straight in and AJ had done everything he possibly could do. He, he, was, he was on the phone. He was trying to call 111, trying to get through to everybody. And then we decided straight away, Abby was sat down. They were both both very calm but in shock and we just decided we've got to get them to hospital so I drove them straight to hospital and then we we just waited outside we didn't know what was going on straight away you did everything you could do to I think to one, the one thing like within this time usually you'd, you'd be at somebody's side you'd be able to hold their hand you'd be able to do things that like as you said Holly I was watching it back then like you want to hug people to help in these scenarios and all we could do is be that lifeline on the phone being in contact with her if she wanted something get it for her there was it felt for somebody who want who likes to help and be able to do as much as i possibly could i felt like my hands were tied and then 
My only way of support was just to keep talking to her all night. And you kept going and dropping bags off at hospital overnight, bags, all of these things. So yeah. you were you were constantly doing stuff for the situation. Well, you got her, you got her back home, um, which is where she is now, the best place for her. She's mm -hmm. had the most incredible care. You've you know, been caring for her as much as you can when she's in hospital. But now she's back. What's your role now, AJ? I think... It was seeing her that first day, picking her up from hospital was, I think, the happiest day of my life, seeing her walk to me, get out of the wheelchair. And obviously she was all bandaged up, as you can see on that image, and getting her back in bed. And that first couple of weeks was all we could do was do what the nurses and doctors had said and just clean the wounds every four hours and really help in that way. And to be honest, I think having somebody at home and being in a scenario where you can hug them and you can help, it's, it's just the nicest thing ever. And whatever it was, just just I was just there for 24-7. And I think what's really hard is with with somebody you love, like you kind of you don't really know how you're gonna react until you see each other. And as soon as we saw each other in in the hospital, it just kind of like that was the biggest relief ever, I feel. I bet. Well, look, um, recovery-wise, I know she's had the, the skin graft. She's had three of those, and obviously you're continuing the care and she's getting much better. I just wonder, sort of, do you think about how long the recovery will take and, sort of, long-term, the impact of an accident like this will have on her? I mean, you're, you're all dancers. Will it affect her career in any way? I think, for me, like, obviously, she has had the skin grafts. They've been fantastic. The surgeons have done an amazing job regarding moving forward with her recovery. Um, the doctors have talked to us, but they don't know. She's healing fantastic. She's, they call her super Abby because her skin's doing amazing. Obviously, we feed her the best food to give her all the nutrition we can do. But um, right now, there's further down the line, there's the option of having laser on certain areas to help heal. But right now, it's just kind of just focusing on what we can do each day and seeing them small improvements, which feel like, massive steps forward I and i think you. it's every time out. that's yeah, the yeah. Exactly. and um and we as you, we said at the, in the introduction you know we've watched you youtube and it's been great fun and the baking and the dancing has been has been brilliant it just goes to prove and i think that particular tutorial um has had something like seven and a half over seven and a half million views um that just goes to prove that you do have to be careful that you can look at something online and think oh that's fun i'm bored um you know let's have a go let's have a go at this how dangerous it can be I think the main thing is, if anybody is trying anything, just be precautious, you know, um, check your surroundings, check everything, have somebody around when you're doing something, whatever the video is, or whatever it is that you're doing, be, be precautious and just take safety measures. And that's the, the main bit of advice to give out, really. Absolutely. Well, it was a, you know, it's a terrible accident, but thankfully you're, you know, sort of pretty much okay. I'm, I'm hoping that Abby will be watching upstairs yeah. in, uh, in bed. Lots of love. Yeah, Abby, Abby's definitely watching upstairs. Yeah, she loves you well guys. Soon. So we're sending her lots of love. Yeah, get we well really are. soon. And, um, and yeah, big hugs. <laughs> All right. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.